Hi, welcome to Ivy House Farm, the home of Knowlesmere Holsteins. Um, this is James and I'm Ross and today we're just going to be giving you a few pointers on uh, the calf that we're selecting for the calf shows and how to clip it and prepare it uh, ready for the ring. Ideally when you're choosing a calf for the show you want a really nice hard top line, good legs and feet, nice big spring and uh, sweep of rib. Quite strong, powerful calf with a really long head and neck, nice rump, and put all them things together and you, you hopefully got yourself a winner. I'm just going to go through some of the equipment that you need. The hair dryer is really important to use when you're blowing the hair on the calf to set it the right way so that you can clip it um, to the correct angles. Um, obviously with that you need a, a brush, um, and James will show you later how we use that brush along with the hair dryer. And then going on to the clippers, there's two sets of clippers here. When you look at these clippers, they've both got di slightly different blades in them. For the bodies, predominantly we use a slightly thicker blade. Uh, and then when we come to the legs and the neck, etc., uh, we use a blade that's slightly thinner. It just takes the hair a little bit tighter um, just to show off those bits that we need to. Uh, we've got a, a little set of uh, handheld clippers to tidy up all the little bits that the big clippers can't reach. First job, make sure the cow's really clean. This cow's been washed this morning already. Uh, James is just going to start using the, the hair dryer to blow the hair on the top line of the calf along here up straight and it's really important that you get this hair to stand right up straight uh, at a right angle to the calf's spine um, and then once he's blown that up he'll show you how he shapes it. Once James has got the, the hair stood up uh, nice and straight here on the top we'll leave that for a minute and come to this hair on the belly so one of the, one of the reasons for doing this um, calf that you're showing needs to have a nice deep rib structure and sometimes just to give an illusion of that depth of rib we leave a little bit of hair a little bit longer on the bottom of the belly and um, so James is just going to blow that up and prepare it so that when he clips it it's uh, all nice and clean. The, the object of a good clip job is to accentuate the, the good parts of the calf um, and show off the, the breed character but also maybe hide a couple of faults that the calf maybe displays in our structure. So the hair that James has blown up um, on, on the top line we're going to make sure at the start of the video we said that we choose a calf that's really hard on our top line. Uh, this calf is hard on our top line but having the hair all straight and level um, by blowing it up straight and then clipping it straight is just going to accentuate that feature. So James has blown the hair up and now he's just going to carve the sides and make the top level so that when he's clipping the rest of the calf he doesn't damage any of the hair that he wants to use um, for setting the top line. So you can see that James has um, taken the, the hair on the top real nice and level. Uh, he's taken all the high points out and left hair in the low points. And he's also carved the side, uh, the side of the, the hair to make it nice and sharp and angular um, so that when, when the overall clip job's finished, um, you can see those nice angles on the calves rib structure and on our shoulder right through to our rump. When we come to the belly here, we've already selected a calf that's got a real nice deep open rib. Um, but we just want to help her out again, um, just to accentuate that part. So James is going to leave this hair here um, a little bit longer, um, and he's, you can see here he's going to shape this, this hair here in the calves uh, chest and heart area, so that it just gives that little bit of extra fill um, in the calves uh, heart area behind her front leg, and just gives that extra uh, depth and strength to her, to her overall rib structure. Now that uh, the finer points of the, the hair that we're going to leave on are done, uh, James is just now going to start clipping the body. Uh, the object of this exercise really is to make sure that when the calves finished, it looks like it's not really been clipped at all. So you can't tell where it's been clipped and where the hair's been left. So he's going to, James is going to make sure that he blends the hair uh, from where he's left it long into the hair that's getting clipped. Make sure that blends really nice and smooth, both in this area and on the top line, and just make sure that the calves clip nice and uniformly all over uh, through our ribs and over our rump. Now we've got uh, the majority of the hair off the body, uh, all clipped nice and smooth. Uh, we've swapped to a different set of clippers now, we said at the beginning, slightly different blades. So the blades are slightly tighter, uh, they're going to take the hair a little bit shorter just to accentuate uh, the clean bone in the calves hind legs and also up through her shoulder and through her neck and head. Now that uh, the majority of the, the hairs off the legs and the shoulders with the, the, the tighter blades, James is just going to use the, the smaller clippers 
just to get down to the bottom parts of our feet where the big clipper blades can't reach, uh, just to get those little bits uh, all tidied up and uh, in, in between our, our hawk bone here um, and in under the dew claw uh, and those little bits that the big clipper blades just can't get to. Now that James has finished all the little finer points on the feet, I'm just going to take the, the clippers on a quite a tight setting on the blade uh, to the tail. Um, we want to make the, the animal look as dairy as possible, have as much breed character and angularity as we can. Uh, so we take all this fluffy hair off the tail, especially on this white part. Um, you started around about halfway down where the calves udder will be. Um, and from that part of the tail, he's taken all that fluffy hair off uh, just to make it look nice and sleek and dairy. The same as James was doing with the tail, uh, taking those tighter blades into the inside of the ears um, and to make the shape of the ear and really take all that fluffy hair out of the inside. Just to, again, the object of the exercise is to make the head and the neck of the calf look really long and angular and dairy. Uh, so we're just taking all that fluffiness away and shaping the ear properly before we take the majority of the hair off her, off her head. So you can see James is having to clip quite a few different ways and different angles on the head. Um, the hair actually grows in all sorts of different ways. So some of the hair grows um, up the way, some grows down the way and across our nose. So to get the smoothest finish you have to kind of clip against the way the hair is growing. So that's why he's changing the angle and the direction of his clippers every so often. So finish clipping, head's all done, ears are done, front legs, all the little bits with the little clippers. Totally finished clipping now. James is going to go back uh, with a hair dryer blow the hair back up just to make sure it's still um, up, upright and there's no hairs laying down or anything like that on the top line and on the belly here and just finish that off and blend it in nice and smoothly and then use a few sprays and final prep. You can see James is just using uh, some setting spray uh, just to give a little bit of volume into the hair and set it a bit firm. Uh, the, the spray dries hard and then you can get a proper shape on the calves top line and just clip it to a nice, uh, a nice straight level on its top and blend those sides into the, to the body of the calf. There's a couple of things that are quite important when you're doing this final part of uh, setting the top line. One is that the calf's head's tied up to the correct level where it's going to be when you're showing the calf in the ring, just to make sure that the back, the, the spine of the calf is level um, so that when James makes a level with the hair, it looks the same when it's out in the ring. The other thing that's really important is, if you see where James's finger is holding the blade, um, just to make sure that that blade's steady against the calf's body. Because uh, if the calf moves at all, then you want to be able to pull the clippers away so that you don't uh, take any chunks of hair out. And also the blades that he's using on the side of the top line are slightly tighter than the ones that he clipped the rest of the body with. So he doesn't want to move the clippers too close to the calf and take chunks or leave uh, patches of hair uh, where they shouldn't be. Job's all finished now, the hair on the top line set hard with a setting spray, um, the calves completely clipped, um, everything's ready to go. The next step now on show day would just be to use a little bit of black spray to cover up this uh, part of the, the black hair that's gone a little white, um, and then to use a bit of show shine or some oil um, on our, our ribs and over our rump, uh, just to make her look uh, clean and sleek and make sure her feet are clean, um, give her tail a little bit of a brush and she's ready to go into the ring.